Today I'm in Howlett Greenhouse, uh, not outside, mainly because today is uh, windy, uh, cold, and rainy, and I prefer to be inside here. I have a few, since most of you are, are going to be working with the uh, modules on the grasses, I have a series of warm season grasses here. Um, actually, warm season grasses, as you know, uh, don't really do well up in this kind of climate. And so where do we grow them a lot? Well, during the winter, we grow them in the greenhouse. I have the two uh, zoysia species here. This one, the more coarse textured one, is zoysia japonica, which uh, is used uh, basically through the transition zone, uh, uh, the northern uh, subtropical region of the United States, primarily on fairways and tees. It's, it's coarse. It's too coarse to be used on greens or things like that. But this one's primarily used in the United States, mainly because it has excellent cold tolerance for a warm season grass. This is the one, Zoysia metrella, that's used globally um, throughout Southeast Asia, um, South America, Latin America to some extent. Um, it's much finer texture, as you'll see in that presentation. It can also be used down on greens, uh, used at greens height. Where it's really catching on in the United States is generally down in uh, uh, Southwest Texas, uh, very low maintenance golf courses where water and, and other things can be an issue. Uh, they're using zoysia metrella on those type of golf courses. 